welcome back to the Man Family. So today's video is going to be the start of our baby led reading journey. I say our, but I really mean Jade's because she's gonna be doing all of the work while mommy just cooks some food. So I'm really excited for today's video. I've been dying to start our baby led reading journey because Jade is going to be our first baby that we're doing this. With our other two daughters, we started with purees and we basically stick with purees until they were good to eat food. If you're not familiar with baby led weaning, basically you give your baby everything that you're eating. So the goal is to not cook separate meals for your baby. You're literally supposed to just give them what you make for yourself. I've been doing like all of the research. I'm also going to be taking a CPR class, which I will share with you guys in this video. I'm gonna give the high chair a makeover. I'm gonna share everything that I've bought for our baby led weaning journey so far and just share everything. I'm also going to include a clip at the end of this video of Jade trying her first meal. So before I share all of these products with you guys that I bought for our journey, I just want to say that I don't think you need to go out and buy as much as I did. I kind of just got excited and I bought a lot of stuff. Also, all of these products will be linked down below in the description as always if you want to shop them for yourself. So the first thing that I have to share with you guys is actually a book. This is called What Mommy Makes and it is by Rebecca Wilson. So this is a full book of a ton of like yummy recipes that are family friendly. So like I said, the goal of baby lead weaning is you only cook once for your family. So you're not supposed to cook like a separate meal for your baby. You're just supposed to give your baby the same meal that the rest of the family is eating. So this book has a lot of good family recipes. I've been looking at this book a lot and I think this book is going to be a hit even with my toddler over here, Rory, because she's my pickiest one at the moment. So I'm really excited to give this book a try. Maybe I will do a video on my channel of trying out these recipes. Maybe that'll be a fun video if you guys wanna see that. The next thing are some bibs. This came in a two pack. This is by the brand Nightingale. So it came in a two pack. They're kind of dirty right now because I dropped them on the floor. So I definitely need to wash these before we use them. But they are silicone bibs. These bibs are amazing. I use them with my other girls too because they have like this pocket in the front which is really great at catching food that your baby drops. So I love these bibs and they're so easy to clean too because they are silicone so you could literally just like wipe them down or wash them in your sink. So this one is kind of like a tan peachy brown color. It has flowers all over it. And then this one is kind of in like a sage green kind of color and then it has white birds on it and these bibs also came in like a little carrying pouch too which is really nice if you wanted to take these on the go like if you're planning on eating out at a restaurant or something you can just throw these in your um, diaper bag another thing that i got is a gather mat i've been dying for a gather mat and when i saw that they came out with this print, I bought it immediately. I just think it's so cute. So this will be going underneath her high chair because I'm counting on a lot of messes. That's one thing with baby led weaning is since your baby is feeding themselves, things can get really messy. So I am planning for tons of messes. So this is going to go underneath her high chair to hopefully catch all of the stuff that I'm sure she's going to be throwing on the floor. And here's what the print looks like up close to. So it just has like a bunch of birds on it, like neutral tone birds. I thought it was really cute. So this is the plate and bowl that I got her. I only got one of each, that way I'm not like constantly washing dishes. So these are by the brand Avanchi. These had really good reviews, especially in the baby lid weaning community. I'm in a little like Facebook group on Facebook. I'm in a Facebook group on Facebook. So I'm in a group on there and they share like a lot of good um, tips in there. I'm also like on a couple pages on Instagram that just share so much like research and like tips and advice. I'll have those linked down below too if you guys want to check them out. So again, this is by the brand Vanshee. I'm not sure if I said that already, but these are bamboo bowls and plates it also comes with a spoon each so here is the little 
bowl set. It comes in a bunch of colors too. It comes in red, green, pink, gray, black, brown, yellow, blue, and white. So a ton of different colors, but I just got gray. So here is what the bowl looks like. They are bamboo. And then it has a suction on the bottom so you can squish it on the high chair and your baby can't like toss it and take it off. And then it also comes with a little spoon. This is her plate. So again, has the suction bottom, comes with the spoon. Bless you, by the way, Rory. And then here is what the plate looks like. So it has three divided sections. I also got her some spoons and forks. So this first set is by Ryan and Rose. And this is their cutie tensel. It is a set of two, so it comes with a fork and spoon all in one. So here is what the Ryan and Rose set looks like. So it's a spoon and fork all in one. So they look like this. Let me actually get closer because I feel like I'm so far away from you guys. So on one end, you have the spoon. And then on the other end, you have the fork. So these forks look pretty unique because it's not just like the three um, little spikes at the end. It has six. I heard these are really good at like picking up food and it makes it really easy for your baby. I also got her these spoons by the brand Num Num. So it comes with two spoons. There's a stage one spoon, which is the starter spoon, and then a stage two spoon for thicker blends. So these spoons are really nice because you can like pre-load them. So you can stick like avocado on these spoons and then give it to your baby. And these have like a really cool like cutout in the center. So whatever like you're using for these like applesauce, oatmeal, um, avocado, something that's a little bit more like easier to like fall off of a regular spoon, you know what I mean? This necessarily won't happen with these spoons because they have like this really cool cutout in the center. So it'll kind of just like stick on the spoon. So it'll be really easy for your baby to be able to feed themselves. I also got her this crinkle cutter. It's a wavy knife. I am going to be using this for things like um, avocado, banana, foods that have like a more um, slipperier texture. I plan on cutting it with this because it'll give it a wavy effect, which I heard is easier for your baby to grab. But I also heard another trick for slippier foods is if you roll it in like um, chia seeds or like black seeds or you can even like crush up Cheerios and then roll like the banana in it. That way the food isn't like super slippery and your baby can get like a better grip. So I plan on using this for that. I have one more bib to share with you guys actually. This is more of like an apron style bib. I think I'm going to throw this in my diaper bag though and I'm going to use this one for on the go. So this is by the brand Tiny Twinkle and this fits ages six through 24 months. So here's what the bib looks like. This is super cute. I might put this on her for her first meal because I just think this will look so cute for pictures because it has like the little flutter sleeves. It has rainbows all over it and then it goes over your baby's head. So it's a apron style bib. The last things that I have to share with you guys is Jade's high chair and then like things for her high chair to give the high chair a makeover. So the one that I went with is the Antelope high chair. It's the Ikea high chair. This high chair was literally only 20 bucks. So it was a steal. I heard this one is just super easy to clean because there's no like extra like crevices in it there's like not a ton of parts to it so super easy to clean like i said i am expecting a ton of messes for our baby like weaning journey so i wanted a high chair that was super easy to wipe down and this one just had tons of reviews saying it's just that so i went with that one i'm gonna have to put it together so we're actually going to do that in this video so you guys will see me and Benny setting it up because he's going to be my little helper because I am like the least handiest person in the world. So Benny's going to be my helper for that. I also got the little um, cushion. I had no idea it was like a blow up cushion. I definitely thought it was going to be like an actual pillow. You know what I mean? So this kind of threw me off when I got it in the mail, but this is the cushion for the high chair. These accessories that I got for her high chair are from... Yeah, baby goods. They have such cute things for the Ikea high chair. So if you have the Ikea high chair, definitely 
check out their shop because they have the cutest accessories. So I got some leg wraps for the high chair. I got the foot rest for the high chair. So those are from Yeah Baby Goods. And then these two things are from the brand Gray Fox Designs. I can so here's the high chair lid and then the high chair legs. Yeah, you can open it. This is a cushion cover for the cushion for the high chair. So it's in kind of like a mauve lilac kind of color. This is more purpley than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more on the pink side, but it's still pretty. It's like a bib. <laughs> it's a little mat for the high chair. So it matches perfectly with the cushion cover. This one is a little bit more pink for some reason. I'm not sure why this one is so purpley. I don't know if the difference is showing up on camera, but this one is definitely more pink. But they're from the same shop, so I definitely thought they were going to match perfect, but it's totally not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and wash all of like the bibs, the plates, um, the silicone like cover and everything. And then I will show you guys the setup of the high chair and then we will give it a full makeover. So before we even set up the high chair, cause I originally wanted to set it up and then show you guys like a before and after. It would just be a lot easier to do it before we even assemble it. So here's what the high chair looks like. If you're not familiar with the Ikea high chair. So that's what it looks like. We're gonna put some leg wraps on it, uh, a foot rest on it, and then I have like some other things for it to make it look a little bit more cuter. So we're gonna work on that. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's why I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now. Why they even make it like this, I have no idea. There's already a hole in it, so I had to tape one side of it. I was literally sitting here trying to blow this thing up forever, and I was wondering why it wasn't going cold. It's because there was a hole in it, so hopefully it lasts. But now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some cudgers. Benny is back here putting on the, the leg wrap. I just want to talk to the person who makes the IKEA instructions because they make building anything so complicated. Well, I mean, logistically, they should be speaking out words, right? Do we need water in there? Does the instruction say? Yeah. Really? It's not even English. Look who's awake from her nap. You say hi. Say hi. Oh no. Still it feels like I pretend. Keep on driving and driving along the roads and never end. As my head of the mind's back between the jars and bottle jug. Just me and all the red lights. Keep on driving. set up so we got the gather mat down here Benny put on all of the black leg wraps they were silver originally we have the footrest the little 
silicone tray cover and then her little cushion. I think it looks super cute. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the high chair there yet because Benny was saying to move the table over and then put it like somewhere over here. So another hack that I'm going to do to the high chair is I'm going to take a command hook. Ideally, you want a white command hook that way it kind of like blends in with the high chair, but this is the only one I have on hand and I don't want to wait to buy a new one. So I'm going to just use what I have. So on the back of the high chair, I'm going to stick the command hook right here and then I'll show you what I'm going to use it for. I can help myself from feeling all alone But you got me good Or you got me good So I got my command hook on it. I just stuck it on there, held it for a couple of seconds, and it's pretty sturdy. It's not going to fall off. So what I'm going to use the hook for is for all of her bibs. That way I can easily store them and I don't have to like go to the kitchen and grab them. They're just easily accessible from the high chair. And you totally cannot even like tell that there's really any bibs back there. Oh my gosh, you're a big girl. Do you love it? Oh. <laughs> She's such a shrimpy. Hey, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you ready to eat? <laughs> Couple more days. So we're going to feed her her first official meal on Mother's Day. So a couple days from now as we're filming this. But I love how the high chair turned out. So here is the CPR class that me and Benny are going to take. It is all online, which is really nice, especially during the times that we live in. So you don't even have to like go out. You can literally just get your certification online. It is the nationalcprfoundation.com. There's a ton of different classes that you can take. The one we are going to do is this one right here. It's just the standard CPR. It's for adult and pediatric. So we're going to take this one. You do not have to pay for the class, but if you want to get your certification, then once you pass the course, then you pay, but it's only like $12.95, which is 100% worth it for our babies. So I will have this link down below if you want to check it out. This one? Oh, don't worry about it. Should we put this one on her? Yeah. Why do I have two One of them for Layla. I should have one first. Yeah. Let it go, So this is going to be Jade's first breakfast. So she has eggs, pancakes, and banana. But I think I'm gonna actually just put it on the tray that way it's easier for her. Are you ready? <laughs> I think that's a yes. I think that's we'll give a you two of yes, each to start. Yes, okay? yes, yes. Yeah. That looks right that I have to. Here. I have to. When we wake, here you go. Hey. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. <laughs> Go ahead, eat it. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's struggling. Yeah, she's eating it. What? And nobody loves me. <laughs> you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. Before I sleep, hear the crickets. 
could see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right I'm